So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I think the Toronto Blue Jays signing Matt Moore, formerly of the Texas Rangers, makes perfect sense for the 2023 MLB season. And just give over and just go over a few reasons why uh, I believe the Jays signing Matt Moore makes perfect sense. So um, as always, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video and let's get right into it. So reason number one on why I believe the Toronto Blue Jays signing Matt Moore makes perfect sense for 2023 is pretty simple. The Blue Jays need to bolster their rotation. One of the biggest downfalls for the Toronto Blue Jays in the 2022 MLB season, uh, despite having some pretty successful uh, seasons from their position players, was their pitching. Uh, and more notably, their bullpen pitching with Matt Moore having a tremendous campaign last year uh, in 2022 with the Texas Rangers, uh, having a 2.4 war, five wins, two losses, 1.95 ERA, uh, 63 games played, uh, 83 strikeouts and 74 innings pitch uh, for a whip of 1.176. He's coming off of a tremendous campaign uh, with a pretty good ball club uh, in the Texas Rangers last year uh, and could be looking to repeat that success uh, north of the border in Toronto uh, on a team that has their sights set on the playoffs and you know World Series championship in 2023. Uh, it could check a lot of boxes for Matt Moore. But uh, more importantly, uh, the addition of Matt Moore to a bullpen that has gotten a little bit better this offseason, but still not enough. Uh, in my opinion, to compete with some of the best bullpens in all of baseball uh, and could very well be a downfall for the Blue Jays in 2023 uh, is super important. You know, Jordan Romano is a good player. Uh, Eric Swanson, you know, the trade with the uh, Seattle Mariners, that could end up being a decent player as well. Um, having guys like Yimi Garcia, Anthony Bass, Tim Meza, um, those are okay players and their bullpen has gotten a little bit better. Uh, the, the addition of Chad Green as well from the Yankees should definitely help. But uh, I really do think at this point, uh, adding a player like Matt Moore, an experienced player a veteran player um a little bit up there in age but nothing crazy you know matt moore is 33 years old um coming off of a solid campaign last year with the texas rangers i think would be the much uh, needed addition to the toronto blue jays bullpen uh, and really bolster this group for the 2023 mlb season so reason number two is that matt moore being a left-handed pitcher would be a much uh, much needed left-handed arm uh to this toronto blue jays bullpen uh that currently is lacking uh, some left-handed depth as it currently stands right now, uh, according to the projected lineup on Fangraphs.com, the only left-handed reliever uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays in 2023, as it stands right now, uh, is Tim Meza, who's not a terrible player and actually had, you know, an okay year last year. But uh, Tim Meza, uh, being the only left-handed guy out of the bullpen, really limits your options for lefty-lefty matchups, uh, as well as just, you know, you don't want to use them too much. Uh, in regards to being the only lefty arm in this uh, in this bullpen, so uh, biting another player in Matt Moore, a player that would probably be more of your go-to guy, uh, it adds a little bit more depth to this Blue Jays bullpen uh, and just add some more options throughout the 2023 season, especially come playoff time. Now, there is the chance that if Ryu comes back uh, and Kikuchi kind of drops down to the bullpen, I guess that's another left-handed arm uh, the Jays could use, but uh, I would much rather personally as a Jays fan, I have Matt Moore on this team, especially coming off the successful year that he had last year in 2022. So uh, by adding Matt Moore to this team, it gives the Blue Jays another lefty option coming out of the bullpen, uh, which will help their matchups and also help them uh, in the long term uh, for a playoff run. Now, the third and final reason I want to talk about on why Matt Moore makes perfect sense for the Toronto Blue Jays in 2023 is that Matt Moore in a perfect world um, is not your fifth starter, but he could actually very well be your fifth starter if the Blue Jays are finding a hard time uh, with Yusei Kikuchi or Ryu in 2023. So uh, Matt Moore, of course, started off as a you know starting pitcher uh, way back when uh, in his Tampa Bay Rays days when he was um, an all-star in 2020, or sorry, in 2013. I sort of bounced around the league a little bit, um, did start in the, uh, the Giants organization as well. I started a little bit in his first time around with Texas, um, started a little bit with Philadelphia in 2021, uh, but last year in 2022, 63 games, all out of the bullpen, um, and that's sort of where he is so far and where he's successful uh, in his MLB career. So I think at this point, uh, Matt Moore is more of an insurance option as your fifth starter. If let's just say things don't go very well to start the season for the Blue Jays, maybe an internal change with someone like Matt Moore being your fifth starter could actually be the best thing for this rotation moving forward. Uh, but like I said before, in a perfect world, he's just coming out of your bullpen and being a go-to guy there, uh, building off the success that he had last year. But if you really need him, maybe there's injuries or whatever, uh, Matt Moore is a nice insurance option uh, as the fifth starter for this team in 2023 so that's going to be it for this video just wanted to make a quick video for you guys talking about uh, why i think the toronto blue jays signing matt moore makes perfect sense for the 2023 season leave your thoughts down below have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one